Whether you call it painting on location, open air painting, or plein air painting, the French term, it's painting out in nature, the way the old masters did it. And what better place to paint than in Eureka Springs, where there's a masterpiece on canvas just about everywhere you look. been long overdue, a plein air festival in Eureka Springs, considering that the last one held here was sometime during the 1800s. Art is a huge part of Eureka Springs, and so we do a lot of the workshops, and we've taught lots of plein air workshops. Um, and so when this, this group of painters in town came and said, we want a festival, I didn't have a clue what that meant. And so I started researching all these places all the way from Maine to, to Colorado to, to, to California. And these, it was huge. Oh, we have to do a plein air festival. So I told this group, they're called the plein air painters of Eureka Springs, that I would help them organize it and get it moving. So about a year ago, um, we started the process. And um, I don't know, it's just taken off in this town. It's probably been, for me, from a business perspective, the best PR has ever had, because everybody's just really fired up about it. And we've, we're bringing artists from all over the country. And come and paint this place. I mean, the place is beautiful. So it is an artist haven here. so many scenic locales, you know, just everywhere you step there's a painting there, you know, something you'd want to capture. And plein air painting is, it gives you such a vitality and a freshness to your art that you can't capture working inside a studio. And you're close to nature and, you know, what more could you ask for? <laughs> We are in a wonderful location here in Arkansas. We're at the historic uh, Crescent Hotel uh, near the downtown area of the very charming and paintable city of Eureka Springs. We have a diversity of landscape here. We have, we have mountains, we've got rivers, we've got streams, lakes, uh, flora, fauna. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful here in Arkansas. Now tell me about this type of uh, outdoor painting. I mean, this is uh, what artists have done way, way, way back. You know, you think about France and, you know, people out in the open and on easels and painting and... <laughs> yes, well, particularly with the advent of the tubed paint, which was, by the way, an American who invented tube paints. Uh, we think about uh, Monet, uh, Van Gogh, people that we're painting outdoors and, and, and plein air, as we sometimes call it here in Arkansas, plain air, but it's plein air in French, which means the open air. So you're responding to nature immediately. So there's an immediacy to the painting and it makes that much more lively and charming than sometimes you get from studio work. type of painting out in the uh, open often? Yes, quite a bit. And I also travel, like I've done here, to other states and other cities to paint. And uh, it's my favorite way of painting. So I do it as often as I yeah. can. It's the old school way, yep. as you might say. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's really the best way to capture the uh, the light and, and really you, you see so much better out here than you would see in the studio. I used to paint a lot from in the studio and from photographs and now I just just don't like doing it. <laughs> it's just not the same. Well, this is the you know best of both worlds. You're you know you're doing what you love and you're out here in the great you know outdoors and nature. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. It's like one guy saw an interview once, he said, this is my office. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I belong to 
to a group called PAPO, and it's Plain Air Painters of the Ozarks. And we paint every Wednesday morning from April through November. And there's a group of about 50, and usually about 15 of us show up. And we paint all over Northwest Arkansas. We come to Eureka on those Wednesday mornings. And we go as far as Southern Missouri, and then back down to West Fork. So we cover a large territory, and they're grouped from all over. So it's real fun. And then this, being right here in Eureka, was just too tempting for it. There's probably 12 to 15 of us from our group here. And, uh, but there are a lot of people here from all over the country, which is nice. And since it's the first one, it's pretty exciting to be a part of that. I think when you paint outside, you, uh, you have to look carefully at what you're doing. And then uh, when you're not painting, you find yourself looking carefully <laughs> at what's in front of yeah. you. It just makes you more aware of the world, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so once I started painting, uh, you know, I just had a different view of things, yeah. So, Tell me about this uh, whole setup here. I like it. Yeah, good. I like it too. I, it's uh, my brother. He's uh, quite a clever devil, <laughs> and he he made this box oh, for me. Oh wow! And the thing I like about it, see, is if you're right-handed, uh, the, the paint is right here, and your mm -hmm. water's right here, and your yeah. paper's right there. So you just go, you know. This is a little nicer. Yeah, it is. You, you know. You need to market this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So take it outside and bring out the artiste in you, plein air.